Welcome back to the OpenVINO channel. Let's run another cool demo. In this demo, you can see not only people detection, which is done frame by frame, but also tracking and counting of these people across frames. This is not a real product, just a sample, but looking at the code will give you a good idea on how to get started. And the usages are endless. Counting and tracking are fundamental capabilities for almost any application. For this demo, I will use a simple video taken in a mall. It's a free video downloaded from Pexel's videos. We will use one model for the detection of the people and you will see the detected people in blue rectangles frame after frame. We will use another model for the re-identification. Basically, each of the detected persons will be compared to the other person detected at the previous frames. A tracked detected person will be marked by a red rectangle. And finally, we draw the tracking route of each of these people. And this is what you see when you run the full demo, all of them together. Now let's activate OpenVINO environment. I will open a new directory and build the OpenVINO sample here. CMake. And I will make only the sample I need. Pedestrian tracker demo. Now I have my own version of this sample. I can make changes and just make again. Let's define the Intel models path. Export models. And running the sample is easy. You can copy all the text from the transcript. So dash i is the input file, could be a video or set of images. Dash m underscore dat need to direct to the person detection model. Dash m underscore re eid need to direct to the re-identification model. And it's working. There are a few more parameters to play with. Run with dash h or read the readme file for the full explanation. Go to the sample directory and look for it. What is happening here is that at the beginning we're looking for people in each frame. This is done using the detection model. Each person that is detected is marked with a blue rectangle. On the next frame, and you can skip frames if you use the dash delay option, the bounding box of this person is being used for re-identification. If it's very easy, it's done using simple computer vision techniques. If not, we're using the re-identification model. If detected and tracked again, this person is getting an ID. This specific person with a yellow shirt is number 25. And you can see the trajectory of his movement. If you'd like to get more information on the models we're using, just navigate to the right directory. You can see here the two IR files, FP32 and FP16. Open the description folder, the HTML file, to see the full details. If you'd like to dig into the code, it's also available. Navigate to the directory. The main.cpp code is here. And under SRC, you can see how we implement the detector and the tracker. Feel free to create your own version per need. We saw how to run the pedestrian tracker demo, a good example for a combination of detection, counting, and tracking. Subscribe to our channel and we'll send you more videos like this one. Thank you.